Why, hello everybody that's out there on YouTube. This is your boy Maxwell P. Ryan coming to you with another video review. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Lego Disney Pixar Toy Story Constructa Buzz Lightyear. This set has, is 10 years old and I've had it for that long. Now, first and foremost, I would usually take a look at the box, but I've had this set for over 10 years. I have been working on not keeping boxes, especially not that long. That and I recall, I think, having thrown it away. So, with that being said and being the case, why don't we get started right off into the review of the actual set. So here we have the Constructor Buzz Lightyear. Now, yeah, now you'll notice that I have a small little dude with him. This is one of the LGMs, the Little Green Men, from the mysterious planet of Pizza Planet. I now have three of them due to the various different Lego sets that I own. Now this one be is the oldest of them all. And I'll do a size comparison of all three of them when I get review the last of the Lego sets. And before I start looking at the actual action figures that I've got over there. So yeah, uh, nicely detailed little dude. He's got a little bit of back detailing. Love that head sculpt. The head sculpt has not changed in 10 years, which is really nice. He's got his three eyes. He's going, eh. Got the little Pizza Planet insignia. He's got little green hands. Yeah, you can definitely tell that this guy is 10 years old, unfortunately, because he does have little bits of wear and tear on him, like right here on his eye. My brother and I used to play around that he was, since he was the soul connect, had the soul connection to the Unimind, he was the most, among the most powerful beings in the universe. So yeah, um, head is hard plastic and can rotate. Whoop. That's how it connects onto there. So, I don't have any other LGMs, so, other than the two other Lego ones that I have. So, but dead little dude off to the side right there. And get it into talking about the actual set itself. The big Buzz Lightyear himself. Now, as you can kind of tell, I'm a bit of a Buzz Lightyear fanatic. I own various, many, many, many various different Buzz Lightyear figures. Um, it's a pity I don't have any of some of a couple of my original Buzz Lightyears from years and years ago. The oldest Buzz Lightyear I have. It's not the oldest one there is. Buzz Lightyear toys have been made since 1996. So Buzz Lightyear is just a tad bit older than me. If that puts that things into perspective. And so yeah. Uh, getting close here so we can take a look at some of the detail. Here's his head. Nice head sculpt. I, it's very much, very similar to that of the little minifigure head sculpt. Yeah, really, really nice. Really nicely detailed all around. He's got his little chin beard. His tuft of hair chin beard. Moving down the figure, here we've got his chest section, his arms, got his legs, his feet, and then his backside. Oh. Okay, I'm done. There we go. So oh, yeah, now you can see the back. Really, really nice. Indeed. There's a lot of different playability features to this guy. Uh, no but working buttons, but you can see he's got his three signature buttons: uh, Star Command, Lightyear, and his uh, wings button. So boop. Um, the wings are on hinges, on these hinge joints, so they they can go in and out like so. They usually leave them splayed out like that. So yeah, um, this guy has a lot of articulation for being among some among in the earlier days of posable bigger figures for like Bionicle and stuff like that. Although not that early though, Bionicle was really a thing for its time, and some of those pieces were able to make it onto here. So he does have a swivel at the head. He cannot look up and down, unfortunately, but he can. It can swivel from side to side. The helmet does open and close, which is really nice and really convenient. 
arms are on a ball joint, so you can get all kinds of movement out of there. Nothing at the elbow. Wrists are on a ball joint, but you'll notice that this hand is starting to break. Years of wear and tear. This happened to, was starting to have to happening about three, four years ago. So it is what it is. Uh, he does have a waist swivel, which is really nice and convenient to make him more in tune with the actual figure. Hips are on a ratchet, so legs can go up that far. They can go back that far. No swivel, but they can go up that far. You can pull, pull very much splits. Uh, ball joint at the at the um, ankle, so you can swivel and go pivot up and down. And yeah. Um, he does include a firing projectile that serves as his laser. Oh, and yeah, nice detailing right here on the laser section and also right here, spa the Space Ranger thing. And this is the flick, time of the flick fire, where you just flick it and it fires. And there it goes. Give me one quick moment. So there you got that. And now, for some level of comparisons, here he is, properly, with the minifig Buzz Lightyear. See how they look together? Here he is with the Toy Box Buzz Lightyear. See how that works. And last but certainly not least for this video, here he is next to the Disney Store exclusive talking Buzz Lightyear. If I can get him to stand. Stand! I command you to stand! So there you got that. Yeah, really cool. I'm so happy. <laughs> And beyond! <laughs> uh, so, uh, no other accessories came with this guy. But, yeah, it, he just came with the little little green man. He just came with the little LG, the little LG, the, li, the LGM. The little LGM. The little, little green man. <laughs> In this case, he really is just a tiny little dude. Oh, and for the sake of size comparison, also here he is with... Here's the LGM next to Buzz Lightyear. And next to red. Standard minifigure size comparison. Whoop. So there you go. This has been the video review for the Lego Toy St Disney Pixar Toy Story Construct of Buzz. I really love this. I really love this set. Um, after all these years, just like with the others, and I do have one complaint about it. It does not take much for him to become disconnected from his waist section. Quite literally. Quite literally just simply falling backwards like that. And it comes apart. And the wing section really comes off easily, but that's also nice too. Because, I mean, it's a very simple build, fortunately. I've nearly had this thing completely fall apart, but I was able to put it back together. So... That's been really nice and convenient. Come on. Get on there. Get in there. Perfect. But, yeah, I think that'll just about do it. This is was really fun to build. It was among the most complicated sets of its time back when I built it. Well, it wasn't among the most complicated. For me, it was the most complicated set I had built to that date. I built a lot more complicated now, but... It was really fun. It took me a little bit, but it was really fun. I I really enjoyed it, and I hope that maybe they'll release, like, a Woody, maybe, at some point. Hey, Lego, there's your idea for Toy Story 4. Put out a, like, buildable figure's Woody. Or maybe update Buzz and Zerg. Or I don't know. Do something. There's your idea. 
But I really think that'll just about do it. So this has been the video review for the Lego Disney Pixar Toy Story Construct a Buzz Lightyear. And this is Maxwell P. Rhyme asking you to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with him ever you think might like it. And don't forget to check me out on social media. I primarily do TikTok, but links will be in the description down below. And I think that'll just about do it. And so until next time when I review the Construct a Zerg, I'll catch you all later. Camera phone.